Hey, right, welcome back, everybody. We're back with more Bloodborne. Welcome back to Michael Jackson's nose post-surgery. <laughs> I was waiting for the whole time for five that. minutes to say that to Earl. You didn't even like let me in on that. Yeah, well, I wanted to surprise you. Yeah, I was surprised. But you didn't even find it remotely funny. No, I found it funny. There wasn't even an exhale through your nose. I, I have, th I have three levels of, of laughing. Yeah. I have no laughter. It's humorous. Okay. I have. And exhale through my nose. <laughs> no laughter is humorous? <laughs> yes. That's your first level of laughter is yeah. no laughter? <laughs> I, I still think it's humorous. I might smile. I might. I, yeah, I didn't it's look like over It's like a 50-50. Did you smile? I, I'm just pretty sure. I feel I feel like I've been smiling. Let me see. Can you can you feel it? There's like a small curvature on the sides yeah. of your lips. Yeah, see? You got like... The, it's, it looks more like a twitch than an <laughs> actual like, smile. You're like, let me get that for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's so loud. Um, oh, yeah, so heads up, everybody. I got a new outfit. Uh, I got some uh, runes that we have an extra blood vial now. Yep. We have 21 instead of 20. Oh, I see. So crucial. Uh, what's um, a bolt paper? But we got that earlier. That's uh, It gives, makes my weapon lightning. -y. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Right. And then I have... That's right, um, the papers are like elements. Yeah. For your weapons. Yes, correct. I can't remember what their equivalent was in the other ones, but... It's been... It's in all the Souls games. You yeah. coat your weapon with the shit, and it gets all lightning-y or fiery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's pretty much the best the way only, to kill every boss. Yeah. <laughs> now, do, now, the oil and the fire sword work together in this one. Is yes. there, like, a water and a lightning? Uh, there's not. Can you, like, throw a water bottle at them? No, I think you need to hit up From Software about that. They really need to... Like, that's a little one-sided. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> like, I guess. Oh, you're talking about the water and lightning versus oil and fire. I thought you were talking about your communications with From Software. Were <laughs> <one -sided. laughs> I was like, yeah, I can imagine. So. <laughs> I doubt they'd get back we're to you Just talking on that. at them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, I agree. But at the same time, scientifically, wood being wet actually conduct more electricity? Yes. Really? Yes, that's why you can't drop a toaster and bathtub and stuff. No, I know. I understand that, like, if you have a bo- They just killed their own guy. If you have a body of water, then it conducts electricity better, but- If you stuck a fork in a microwave, you most likely will not die. But what if you were wet when you stuck that fork in a microwave? Uh, Wait, in a maybe. microwave or a toaster? Toaster. Okay. <laughs> a toast. Damn it, dude. C keep everything straight I'm right trying, now. I'm trying to. Okay. You know how hard that is for me. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, go, uh, go on, you're gay? Yeah. <laughs> God, stop throwing fucking Molotovs at me, guys! I just want to pick up this item. Man, they are doing madhouse over I here. needed that blood vial. Oh, shit, He's hello. partying. He's like, whoa! Yeah, I did jazz hands. He was like, party! <laughs> Aw. Explosions all over, flying. Now I'm secondhand excited for him. <laughs> you know, that felt good. Yeah. Got my energy up seeing him so excited. Oh, good. Molotov dude followed us down here, so now I can actually fucking kill him. He's not the only one. See? Damn it. How do I get up there? Uh, I don't know. I know how to get up there. Then why'd you ask? I have to, uh, announce my thought process out loud since we're, you know, we're doing a show. Oh. And, and, you know, people are listening. Is that how that works? Sometimes. Oh, okay. Most of the time people don't care what I'm thinking. I mean, no, everybody cares exactly what you're thinking at all points of time. All right, twist ending. I don't know how to get there. I thought I did. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had the answers. So, you pulled a bread on us. <laughs> Shit. Dude, 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 dude. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go. Found it. The good old, like, we're going this way. We're not going that way. I know what I'm doing. I don't know anything. Your, your level of whiplash. It's, it's Brett Lash. You're going to put that on a t-shirt. God, Brett dude. Brett Lash. If I called you out, even, like... Even, like, 10% as much as you <laughs> called me out on shit. You would hate me. No. Yeah, wait. you would. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. I wouldn't hate you. God, dude. It's like I... everything I do is under a fucking microscope <laughs> when I talk just... to you. <laughs> That's what makes it great. It's like being a fucking an amoeba. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah you know, I'm just studying biology you. biology lab, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what happens if oh, I shit. lick it? Yeah. It's embarrassing. Now what happens if I stick it up my butthole? Is that what you do with amoebas? Wait, do you not? I mean, you could. Dude, dude! Oh, dude. Oh, he had a sack! So what was I supposed to do about the sack? I don't know. 
Don't let him just whip it out he and smack you with it. He swung that shit around like a goddamn scrotum <laughs> on a Friday night, dude. Don't, don't just let him whip it out and slap you on the side of the head with it. I wasn't That's expecting it. I mean, if there's anything, if there's any any wisdom that yeah. I have to give to you, yeah, let it be that. What did you say again? Don't let him just whip it out and smack you on the side of the head with it. I mean, sometimes you gotta be nice about it. <laughs> sometimes it's their right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I really wish that on those bags that they're carrying, they just had like a few little like stray hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would. Oh, dude. Okay. Uh -huh. This is this is on. Well, it's oh, kind of no, related. It's the thing. Yeah, the thing that fucking scared the shit out of us yeah. earlier. Um, I was at World Market earlier today. World Market. And uh, there was like a fucking wicker chair that was like almost three hundred dollars. It wasn't particularly nice. It was just yeah. a wicker chair. I don't know why it was so expensive. Uh, everything in World Market is wicker everything. I guess. Like, the walls are just lined with, like, wicker baskets But it's like, what's even, what's even the function of a wicker? Like, it's... It's, it's there, good kindling think, for a campfire, at best. I think it's hand... Maybe it's handmade? For $300? Yeah. It was made. Fucking, it better be goddamn blessed by the Pope or some shit. I mean, it could be. I hope that's the chair that goddamn I'm Elvis sure. Presley died in. They're going to charge I'm me sure. $300 I'm for I'm sure it's it. both. I'm pretty sure Elvis de pre deadly. <laughs> de Elvis Presley deadly. died in it. And then the Pope came and blessed it while he was dead in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? That's acceptable. And then then. promptly took his body away. I would pay $300 Dragging for that. Dragging it by the pinky toes. Did you know Elvis actually died on the toilet? That's what I heard. He died taking a shit. Yeah, so don't try to squeeze too hard, people. Is, I mean, is that what killed him? Life lesson. I mean, what else would have? You know there's times when you try and it's not coming out and you just have, like, your eyes about to pop out it's got blood veins coming out of the side of your head? I mean, I don't usually keep pushing at that point. Well, some people might. Usually that's my, uh... It's like, people, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna sit, sit, sit loose for a minute. So it's, um, it's make or break for some people. <gasps> no! Fuck! It's Sackman! God! Sack, nah, 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 nah. Sack boy is coming for fucking the everything. His revenge. <laughs> well, wait, no, he killed me before. He doesn't yeah. need revenge. His, uh, he's coming for seconds. That's what oh, I meant to say. Oh, he's got a bloody sack. It happens when you start stabbing. Yeah. It. I wonder what's actually in that sack. You don't want to know. No, I really do want to know. <laughs> well, like, like lore wise, take though. a guess. I mean, let's what see. what would be reasonable lore wise to be in that sack? I don't know because I don't know what these guys' deal is. It's clearly something dead. It could just be a bunch of strawberry jam. Maybe Eesh. these are maybe these are the toast guys. Toast guys. <laughs> <laughs> the guys that go around uh, making toast. It's peanut butter jellies in there. Peanut butter jelly time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. I missed. Nice. I, I did miss. No, I mean it was good effort. You get <clears throat> you get a C for effort. What? A C for effort. Mm. I can't give you an A. Mmm. Because that's that's unfair to the people who gave actual like effort and did well. I'd like you to give me a D. I, D's that could be nuts. <laughs> it could be arranged. Or just a, or just a D. I mean, both can be arranged. I, I was working at a place, and then we had a Halloween party. Yeah, I found him. And a guy uh, dressed up as a giant nut, and his name was D. A giant nut? Yeah, like a peanut. Oh. And he was handing out he was handing out uh, nut-based treats for Halloween. That sounds really dangerous. Like, uh, like uh, peanut, are... like peanut butter uh, cookies and uh, like. Do people have deadly peanut allergies? And you're then just they, gonna go around and give they, that to people? And they don't get them. And they're they're wrapped. Some, like Halloween treats. Some people are so allergic that just being just in vicinity. The wrapper. I don't know, dude. I have a friend who's so allergic to peanuts that she can't even go inside Five Guys. Because yeah, I don't, have you been in Five Guys? They have like, um, yeah, they give I you little they, nut or they charge you like what? No, I've never what? Yeah, dude. They have you if you oh, go yeah, into yeah, a Five I Guys remember, restaurant, they just have peanuts everywhere. You I can remember. just yeah, yeah, yeah. And if she steps inside, she's like. <laughs> Yeah, but those are exposed. anaphylactic shock. I mean, or those are exposed called. nuts, though. Like these are packaged nuts. Are they though? They're not exposed. They're in their shells. They're exposed though. Some of them are going to be cracked. I guess they just shove them in. That Some way. of those wrappers are going to be open. Yeah. 
Because, you know, there's the crazy well, guys who open them and put razor blades in them. That's never happened. That's absolutely happened. Uh, no, it, if you look at it, it's never happened. It, it, when it did happen was a father killing his own children. That's it was even, never a rando. Okay, that's even more fucked up. <laughs> yeah. You just tried to correct me by saying that never happened. Something way worse happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exactly put my mind at ease. Yeah. God, is that true? If Dad really killed his children by fucking putting razor blades in their candy? No, I think he poisoned it. Oh, okay. Or maybe it was razor blades. It was one of them. Dude, if that's I, true, that's... I just know that the whole tainted candy thing, there, there is, like, this whole report on it where it's, like, the only, like, one or two instances where people were killing their own family members mm -hmm. had nothing to do with being random. Really? Yeah. I still feel like it happened. Maybe. I feel like I remembered, like, a specific, like... Not just it being an urban legend, but like a specific like news story well, the of news. it happening, and then my parents were like, "No, we're not. We're checking every piece of candy you get because this kid died from you know." No, I, I, it's probably the news saying this could happen. You know how they do, They're just fear mongering. I don't know, man. My parents have always been pretty level headed. I know. I know that probably sounds weird coming from, like I'm a little biased, but when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to shit like that, like I always found like. They never really gave in to the fear-mongering and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Except very... for that time. No, they didn't. There was, it wasn't fear-mongering. It happened, it's, man. It's still fear-mongering if you, if you say that it could happen to, like, a bunch of people. And if you, like... I don't know, man. Is it fear-mongering to say that, okay. like... Okay, if, if the report said, check yeah. your children's candy... Yeah. This Halloween, it's fear-mongering. If it... they just reported the death and nothing else... Yeah. And it probably is it fear mongering for the news stations to tell Jews to stay hidden during the Holocaust? What is that fear mongering? What if something bad is happening, like actually happening, is it fear mongering to say on yeah, the news if, that it's happening? If, if it was happening to all the Jews, then no. But if it was happening to one person and they're telling everybody in the whole fucking area to do something, then yeah, it's fear mongering. Damn you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> You son of a bitch. I just want to fucking be right once. God well, damn it. <laughs> fucking bullshit. What? If you didn't... Uh, Are you even timing this episode? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, okay. only 12 minutes. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's like, the phone. Okay, that one was your fault because I said it's fear mongering. You could have just said, yeah, it is. And then you'd be right with yeah, me. Yeah, shit. But you well, had to compete. No, I have to be right in my own... You, ha you have to be right and I have to be wrong. My own... Yes, exactly. Yes, that's, that's what exactly it is. Yeah. What it is yeah. <laughs> it's got to be one, at least one of those. Oh, dude, he had a Jesus. headache. Yeah, he had a headache. I think he has some kind of tapeworm. <laughs> it's a tapeworm. You got something on your head yeah, there, buddy. Check, yeah, you people check your cereal because yeah, those, yeah. those come prepackaged. Make, sure, make sure there's no tapeworms in your cereals. Those things are painful. If the toy is opened, you got to watch out yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, that time that the person gave out Halloween candy and then a bunch of kids had 17 snakes yeah. spurred out of their heads. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to I'm going to tell my son that's what happens when women when <laughs> girls get their period or something. Like, oh, no, I thought you were going to tell them that's what happens they when they, eat they get the candy. toy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. That's why you can't eat your it has to be completely ridiculous. Yeah, that's why you can't eat the cake before the main course. To scare the shit out of them. Yeah, cuz and then I have, I have so many things from yeah. childhood that I just remember. Like? That just scared the shit out of you and it was just something someone said. Okay. Uh, like my sister said something about a dog jumping in through the window and killing me. Oh. Because we had goose, go, a Goosebumps book and there was a dog in that one. Oh. Yeah, the bathroom window. I was terrified of that bathroom for a long time. I was like three. I remember that. S sorry, dog comes in through the window. I was... Oh, I used the wrong item. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, there we go. I bought a lantern. <laughs> I'm trying to get some light in here. He's only got one thread going on in his mind. Yeah, no, no, no. You're, no, I, I had I had similar things like that where it's just like somebody somebody just suggests that something could happen and, and then, then all of like, a sudden oh, boy. that's all that exists it's is all, that horrifying thing. I mean, that's that's part of successful evolution. I guess. I just think that's part of childhood. Have you ever held your arm off something? Like taking a nap and then moved it back on so it's not hanging off the side just yeah because you're scared of the little boogeyman is going to grab your arm or like or something you know, from under the bed chainsaw is going to come out of nowhere and chop off yeah that's why you can't leave your legs dangling <laughs> out when yeah it has to <laughs> so be weird on, it has to be under the blanket or else the chainsaw will be able to cut your leg off <laughs> well no it just has to be on the it it has to be visible whatever's underneath it oh right 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 so right, right, if yeah. you put it on the bed you're good correct hanging off slightly 
a chainsaw is going to come up from the from the floor and just cut it yeah. off. Well, for me, for me, it was if if I had the blanket over it, it was okay. Oh, but if it was unprotected by the blanket, then it's <laughs> that that appendage is gone. That's like that's that even, shit is fucked. Yeah. That's even deeper in, yeah. in that thought. Yeah, I don't know. I think for me, I just had to like get it on top. Cause, yeah, because I just. Because, you know, you see the side of the bed or the couch or whatever. Yeah. And then it, you don't see what's on the other side. It's just it's just a pit. It could yeah. be anything down there. Yeah. So, you know, I put it up here and you're good. Yeah, I, I definitely. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing. I had that fear legit as a kid. Yeah. And then I got over it. And then Paranormal Activity came out when I was like 15 or 16. Uh-huh. And th- I, did you see that movie? Yeah. There's the part where the girl's laying in bed and her leg is exposed a little. Yeah. And then it just starts getting tugged at by nothing. And then she gets dragged out of the bed and pulled yeah. down the hallway. <laughs> I was like, no, don't fucking do that to me. I had gotten over it. You just start putting the blankets back on again. Yeah. And then, yeah, it, it, it that fear definitely came back <laughs> so for a while. That's the first line of defense. Well, the blanket will go first. Then I'll know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe... I don't know what it is about about blankets, but they're so like. Well, you can feel it move. If it moves, comforting. If you feel it move down, like if anything moves on a blanket anywhere, yeah, it kind of tugs everywhere. So all of your senses are available to it. That's true. Check it it's out. This guy's a cannibal. He's not a zombie. He's a cannibal. He's a zombie. Let me just get a uh, poison knife on my item list here. We're gonna talk to this cannibal. Yeah. Blimey! Don't scare me like that. Well, I'm eating other people. Jeez. <laughs> <Yeah, just>, <laughs> Oh, no, I took you for a monster. <laughs> I was just minding my own business here, eating this person's. Uh, what was his he? Testicles. Eating? Yeah, he was. He was kind of in his. Wow, testicles. he ate his face first. Also, I think that's a child. He ate his face first. Yeah, that's a child. That's all right. <laughs> it's not. <all> right. <laughs> uh, what I know of any woman. safe havens? She looks yeah, so stiff. That's a woman. That's a man. That's a child. Oh, so he ate the whole family. Yeah, See, he wasn't biased. Yeah, I guess. Still, I mean, he was eating specifically the kid. We're gonna kill this guy. Why? Cause he's a cannibal. And also, hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh wow. God. What the hell is that? Uh, I don't know. Look, he's got little beady red eyes. Oh, and he's got electricity. Yeah, but there's there's a strategy for killing this guy, and I think so, he gives a ton of souls. So he's not a cannibal. He's actually a monster. I know. I think I think this is how because he's such a horrible piece of shit like being. Like, Wait. this is what the, the the beast curse, how it manifests in this guy. Interesting. It turns him into this fucking insane... Ah, okay, Holy he does a lot more crap. damage than I thought. We're, I was going to try and get some, some sneak hits in there, but I think we'll just stand back and just spam some poison daggers on him. <laughs> just all day that's long. how we'll go ahead and do this. Is he getting poisoned? Is, is he going yeah, down? Yeah, look at his health going down. I'm not doing anything. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing shit, and that damage going up. So we're just gonna sit here and watch him. Yeah, we can answer a question if you want. Ah, uh, jeez. Or we can say I don't uh, know. Oh, 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 no, no, no! I can tell you my oh. my story okay. that I was gonna tell you during the uh, the Dark Souls fight. Oh yeah. Um. So first of all, this isn't a funny story at all. Yeah. Um. But it is something I'd like to talk about because it's weighing on me right now. Okay. I'm getting punked as shit at work. Punked? I'm getting punked like crazy, and not in the good kind of way. Somebody is trying to slander my name, uh, making me out to be a fucking pedophile, and I'm not sure if it's... What? I'm not sure if it's a customer thing or if it's maybe a YouTube thing, but somebody is trying to get me fired by saying that I'm taking unsolicited pictures of a 15-year-old girl that came into my store, and also that I'm uh, DMing them on Instagram and harassing them. What the hell? Yeah, which is... First of all, it's amazing to have that sort of attention. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a pedophile. I know I make a lot of jokes, <laughs> but I'm not. Um, but it's stupid. Okay, the, the scariest part of this is if, if it is a YouTube thing, uh, the thing that scares me is the fact that somebody knows where I work. Yeah. I, there's no risk of me getting in trouble at work because they're going to say it happened on this date and then... Everything is filmed at my store. Yeah. So we just check the tape. We see that I did not take a picture yeah, of anybody. Didn't take a picture. Shit didn't happen. And then I'm fine. But if somebody knows where I live, like, that's a bit of a problem. That's so, so hey, weird, if you're dude. listening to this and you're calling my store and telling them that I'm fucking harassing 15 year old girls, please stop. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That'd be nice. Or man up and show your face. Yeah, that too. Jeez. Yeah. Like a coward. But yeah, it's, it's also, it's just. It, it it also it might just be a customer yeah who like didn't like disgruntled me disgruntled people yeah but my my assumption is that I don't know a customer like wouldn't 
No, they will. Some people have some you weird think? vendettas. Like, you just say one wrong thing, and they're just like, I'm gonna fucking it's destroy just, this it's guy's just, life. That seems like a weird way to go about it. Like, there's so many easier ways to try and get me fired. Like, what you're trying to do is, like, some, get a well, fucking police report started. Well, look, some people, some people project their own problems uh, maybe. onto other people. Maybe. Whenever they're wanting to get them in trouble. Especially those really weird people, like... Like okay, you know how how they say like if if someone's cheating on you, yeah, um, they're usually like paranoid about what you're doing and stuff. So like, oh, yeah. oh, where are you going? What are you doing? And they're the ones cheating. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing where if they're like having those weird thoughts and they're taking pictures of like fifteen year old girls, uh -huh. their way of getting you in trouble or if they're upset at you is the way to, is to project that. That's yeah, that actually makes sense. Well, shit, I hope that's the case and not that it's somebody from YouTube. Yeah, because I don't want that to be a thing. Yeah, I don't want to have to worry about people on YouTube finding out where I fucking work. And also, what did I do to you guys? If <laughs> that is what happened. Look, man, I know I'm not that funny, but shit. <laughs> He's like, you think your jokes are funny? Let me tell you how, how, how funny your jokes are. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't understand why, like, like, what do you think is going to happen? Like, it's not like I'm just going to get arrested yeah, just because you said it happened. They're not going to arrest you. Like, it's not like nobody's going to follow up on that shit. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's just... It's just thoughtless. Yeah, I mean, there there may be a police report and they may investigate, but like, yeah. it's not like they're gonna be like, "Oh, you're going to jail right now." Yeah, <laughs> like, nobody nobody cares, dude. It yeah. didn't didn't happen. <laughs> it's it's crazy, man. Dude, if if I this was is, this is another reason I don't like working retail or in public or with people. Yeah, it's because I can't deal with them their idiocracy. Yeah, it's too much of a risk. I don't know. Ooh, max HP during co-op. Oh, let's use that. Oh yeah, I didn't even show this to you. I did this off camera, but mm -hmm. we have this new rune system, and I gathered all these runes from farming and going gathering around. So nice. we have one that gives us more blood echoes, one that increases our defense, and there's the one that gives us the extra blood vial. Nice. And then I just got one from the dude we just talked to, who gave us a whatever Full the hell HP, that was. Yeah. Or whatever. Something like that. Oh, we also got the Tony Truss. What's that? This is a pretty cool weapon. I'll show you before we end this episode. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Tony Bones. Let's replace that there. It's a mace. Oh, wow. It's yeah, boop, boop, boop. electricity. Yeah, and it doesn't really have a second form. The second form is it gets super electricity. It's basically a Tesla whip, a Tesla mace. Yeah, pretty, nice. pretty much. Nice. I saw, I think Aaron was using this for, like, a good chunk of the Game Grumps Bloodborne playthrough. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched the whole thing, but, like, I've watched some, like, best ofs and stuff, and I saw, him, I saw him using that for a lot of the footage. Or maybe it was just, like... Maybe they just had one Maybe really that, good that's, span of... That's just when they were funny? Is yeah, when they, had the yeah, when they had the mace. Those are the best moments. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. It's very, very possible. All right, see you guys in the next one.